for Passeron. Ms. Clerk, if you could look at that first, please, before it's disseminated. What's up? I'm talking to the clerk. Can I go? Yes, sir. Um, so I went to my favorite coffee shop in Churchill, um, and I won't say their names, no savory promotion. I picked up this flyer, it says Dragstravaganza. I guess it's a new word to our lexicon. It says, an all ages, kid friendly celebration. The words all and kid are capitalized with songs and perform performances from our favorite childhood movies, uh, family friendly fun and drag performances. I don't know about you, but family-friendly fun and drag performances should never be next to each other in the, you know, anywhere in the English language. Um, now, I might be a half-assed Christian, but, you know, I'd be remiss for not coming here and just reading this. Um, crimes and offenses, uh, crimes involving morals and decencies, family offenses, crimes against children. Um, any parent, guardian, or other person responsible for the care of a child under the age of 18 who will be willfully, will, willful omission or refusal to provide any necessary care for the child's health causes or permit serious injury to the life or health of the child is a, guilty of a class 4 felony. And one of those things is forced ingestion of dangerous substances. So if you went to the, um, the Facebook page for this event, you have a picture of a very confused uh, middle-aged man wearing a crown dressed as a princess with a around youth and i think this is a forced uh dangerous substance um causing psychological damage uh what's even worse is on this facebook page they you know call out their uh followers and one is atw firearms instruction for a family event atw firearm instruction um you go there they have a promotion for a transgender day of visibility where they have reduced prices $25. And they're also selling patches that say F around and find out with a revolutionary fist and I guess a fluid gender uh, emblem around that revolutionary fist. Um, like any you know, revolutionary cause, it always protects itself or cloaks itself with a protected class. And I will end with this Christian uh, publication and it says remember the saying of the first dictator of the soviet union vladimir Lenin: children like soft wax are very malleable and they should be molded into good communists public libraries have become dens where transvestites and pro-homosexual pro-homosexual stories to little children at taxpayer expense 30 seconds since uh -huh. these politicians and clergy are Madam, not defending innocent Madam children Clark. from the grave moral danger we must step Stop. into the gap i expect all of you Thank you. And let, let me just say this. We do not. Um, no, sir, you can have a seat. You got two seconds. Have a seat. Ma'am, please remove this gentleman. The one thing we will tolerate, we will talk. I've sat through a lot in these chambers, dealing with Civil War memorabilia, different things of that nature, and we will not tolerate anything that would demean any person that lives in this city. Everyone has a right to live in this city, period. Drag shows have a long history of being a form of artistic expression. And if a mother or a father or a guardian of that child chooses to take them there, that is a family's choice. And that is my opinion as pastor. That is my opinion as a person who's represented this city through a pandemic, through a protest, through so many different ups and downs. And as president of council, I choose not that we tolerate that type of speech targeted at any one particular group. Um, 
Ms. Jordan, I see your hand and I will recognize you at this time. Thank you. Yes, I'm very dis, you know, discouraged and disturbed by the comments. Um, I wish that the individual was able to stay in the room to hear us reply. Um, but, you know, decorum. I will just say that um, the location for this event is a terrific neighbor and a terrific community partner for the city of Richmond. And I was proud to have a drag performance for my friend who was going through cancer. And it was family friendly. There was nothing scary. There was nothing indoctrinating. There was nothing grooming about it. That is just BS. And I, I just, again, I'll go back to feeling discouraged and, and, and angry that um, folks choose to focus on this when there are so many other actual threats and dangers to our children. Thank you.